All right, so here we have our first uh, majorly successful TPU print. You can see it's pretty, pretty squishy. Um, this is on our direct drive machine. Uh, finally got all the settings dialed in and fixed the hot end so it was no longer oozing or jamming. You can see back here, uh, for those of you who are paying attention, some stringing. Um, this here, it's not necessarily scratches on the bed. We're going to take this guy off and take a look at it here. All right, let's get a closer look. This is the uh, clear 3D Solutech. Uh, came out pretty nice. Uh, support is a real issue with TPU because um, it's so spongy that it's hard to get an even break. Uh, you almost always have to cut it. And even then you end up with some little strings and stuff. Um, and then there's a little stringing around the top. There was some stringing around the support as well. Um, I'm assuming that's a temperature thing. But, uh, yeah, overall I'm pretty pleased with it. You can see it's pretty squishy. Um, this 20% infill, the walls are still pretty solid. So I guess I could have gone a little thinner on the walls as well. Um... Uh, we're doing one of these in white right now. I'll have a review video for Polymakers Polyflex uh, coming up, but this is just a little uh, preview of how well the uh, direct drive can do. Now we had talked about in the comments about some jamming um, and some issues it had caused, and you can see here this same model. This is the one I printed yesterday, and if we look closely, if it'll allow us to, You can see some brown discolorations, um, a little bit of uh, green from some filament I had in there before. There's a good example of the discoloration. That's because it was burning because it wasn't flowing through evenly. Um, I made those adjustments I talked about in the comments to my Bowden tube, and then it came out pretty clean. I mean, um, you can see the little notches in his eyebrow, the muscles in his jaw. The camera doesn't really do it justice. Um, the skull is a little bit better though. And yeah, so we're printing more TPU right now. And stay tuned for the Polymaker Polyflex review out of the direct drive. And as always, guys, I am Technivorous. Thanks for watching this video. Don't forget to hit the like button. You can subscribe right here by clicking on the icon. And I put a couple videos up in the corner. One of them is going to be my latest video, my latest upload. And the other one is going to be what YouTube recommends for you. So feel free to check those out. Don't forget to hit that bell for notifications down below. And we'll see you guys next time.